hospital or not. And I have an Impala Lily story about her. We went <laughs> for a walk one evening. I was working down in the south of this area. And she wanted an Impala Lily. So I said, well, I know where there are some. So we come for a walk. And you know, I was wooing her at this, that stage. And so I went. we went out. And, I mean, you're not really allowed to harvest wildflowers from the bush. <laughs> I, I cut, cut one out. We found them and I took a piece and we didn't really know how they were, how, if they would grow. She turned out to be an utterly horrific um, gardener. It's another story. Anyway, we walked back into camp and as we came back into the camp, the owners came around the corner. They were about to go on a game drive. And um, I was struck by that sense of not knowing what to do, of awkwardness, where you know you've been cuffed doing something you perhaps shouldn't have, but is it serious enough to actually worry about, and would the owners worry about it? And I had this thing now behind my back, and I've no, I, no doubt in my mind they knew exactly what was going on, that I was wooing this young girl with um, an impala lily that I'd filched from a clearing on their land. And I think they found it very, very amusing to see my discomfort. Anyway, the Impala Lily died shortly thereafter on account of neglect from Laura. It's a good harbinger for how our relationship was going to go.